properties. <laughs> I think that would be good. That's the one. <laughs> Why do I get the shitty chair? I don't know. Get the captain chair. I do get the good chair. <laughs> All right, so how long we been investing and why did we get into it? Since 08, right? Yeah, since the middle. Uh, very first house was bought March, a couple of days before St. Patty's Day. Uh, March 14th, 2008, first property bought. So we've been doing this about four and a half years now. Yeah. Right when the market completely crashed. So yeah, we're those guys that got into it just then. Yeah, we had to learn on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, when did you attend your first property auction? Well, why did we Why did we get into it though? Let's talk about that because right. well, yeah, yeah, that's a good story. We we had always dreamt. We met each other as fraternity brothers uh, at Northeastern University. Hated Boston. Absolutely hated the city. Miserable with life. Uh, jumped in his geostorm. Drove all the way down to Wilmington, North Carolina. Backfired the whole way. Yeah, we had some <laughs> car trouble on the way down. Don't tell that story. And man. no, no, we, we don't want to talk about the geostorm days. And uh, and we had to sell UNCW on taking us with a 1.7 and a 1.9 GPA. Yep. And uh, and we did. Transformed our lives and always talked throughout college and then thereafter about getting into business with one another and growing something that we love to do and then you know ironically a few years later real estate became that passion for both of us and off we went yeah absolutely and obviously the name pike i mean we're fraternity brothers from boston uh so we just kind of carried that legacy into our business uh and it's, it's been great i mean we have no complaints at all so when did we attend our very first auction? I pretty much out of the gates, didn't we? I yeah, mean, early on we got down to the courthouse and knew that you could. There were op, there were opportunities down there and tried to figure out and, and see who the the people that knew that game down there were. And we were nosing around for a while down there and just trying to figure it out. And um, so I mean, probably later in 2008 we went down there to learn that process. Absolutely. I mean, and we did not put a bid in, but I mean, we learned the process. We learned who some of the players were in the industry. And uh, we learned uh, we could build a buyer's list pretty quick that way. Yeah. So uh, we didn't put in an offer, but it was a good experience. It was a good sure. experience. Uh, now, how lucrative has this been for us? Uh, pretty darn lucrative. I yeah. Mean, we, our latest deal, I think, we, what did we clear? About 70 grand on that? Yeah, one? yeah it was like 63 is what we ended up yeah. with. At the end of the day, I mean, it's been huge for us. I mean, we try to renovate two to three a month if we can. I mean, hey, if there's more, we'll renovate more, of course. Uh, but it's been our living ever since we started the business. Yeah, I mean, we get into this full time, so this is not something that's part time for us. So literally, this has been our livelihood for the last four and a half years. Um, you know, and, and I won't really talk about our what we make per year, but I'll just say that we're very happy with the results. We're very Absolutely. happy with it with our uh, with our results. I'll just say that. And, uh, but it's been fun, right? It's, it's been a, a lot of fun. It has. Yeah, I've had to carry this guy the whole way. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> right. So how many properties have we bid on a week or a month? Uh, that's sort of my part of the business. And I mean, I feel like we probably bid on anywhere from, you know, a dozen to two dozen properties a week. Uh, on average, when we're really in full swing, we're bringing in about 100 leads a month into the office. Uh, so yes, obviously we look at auction properties, REOs, short sales. We kind of jack of all trades in real estate investing. Uh, does that sound about right to you? Yeah, that yeah, it? that's right on. Yeah. All right. So how do our peers know us in the business? I'd like to get your take on this. What do you, yeah, what do you think? I got um, my opinions, but in the begin, I mean, we're well known in this area. First of all, I mean, you know, we do make a lot of noise. We like to have a lot of fun. Um, I think they know us as the guys that just kind of do this full out. I mean, there's a few people in town that do it part time. Um, and I think a lot of them have been following us around, truth be told. I mean, we've been doing this and, yeah. and we got educated on this business really early on and just went at it full out like we do anything. And they've kind of followed us around town and the areas that we go. And it's been fine, right? But I, I would say that a lot of other investors have kind of rode our coattails and, and we've been pioneers in a lot of these neighborhoods. And that's flattering, you know, uh, but it does create for some competition too. And uh, I think they know us as just the guys that are the pioneers in this business and, you know, those, those young guns coming in and, um, you know, maybe some of the people that have been doing this a long time, they really don't want to let us in their club a lot right, of times. Absolutely. There's kind of a good old boys club here that needs yeah. a little bit of disruption. And, uh, but we, they know us as the ones that just have fun, but we take this very serious. And you know what a lot of our clients say that we go out and meet with? We always hear the property brothers. We always hear that. Oh, yeah. Everyone thinks we're brothers. Yep. Uh, we're not fraternity brothers, but uh, just a little bit different. I mean, I mean, lucky for this guy. You know, everyone <laughs> thinks he's my brother, but 
I said, I said, don't, don't. That's the you had the you offended me right there to say that we're related, right? Oh man, so I think uh, honestly, we've talked about this in the past. And the type of investors that we are, I think we're the honest investors. Yeah. I mean, we, obviously, we like to have fun in our business. We screw around all the time, and we're going to horseplay and do all the things that made us want to start a business together. But at the same time, we're not going to, you know, stab somebody in the back to make a few bucks, right? That's, yeah. That's yeah. something we built our business around is to carry ourselves with integrity, but again, have that fun at the same time. And don't get me wrong, too. I mean, we're super competitive. Absolutely. I mean, when it comes, we're very, very competitive. But Anthony's exactly right. We're not going to do anything dishonest, but uh, we're going to go after what we think we we want to to be able to to make some money and, and and build this business. Very, very competitive, but at the same time, do it with integrity. Absolutely. That's it. That's, That's it. All. Boom. All right. This business can be stressful sometimes, so we like to cut up, have a good time. Yeah. Wear a little bit of our marketing, right? Play some hoops to see who drives and go to get lunch or go to the next property or whatever it might be. So this will be the Pike initiation. Damn it. <laughs> to go in. <laughs> Is that <laughs> Done. Let me show you how it's done. You take the camera. Right. You try it with this thing on. All right, easy. Oh, we're still recording. Still going. Still going. Get in there, yeah. tough guy. This is how this goes. All right. Ready? Boom! I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. Hey, it ain't easy being a winner. <laughs> All right, I gotta redeem myself from the basketball experience and see how the golf games treat me today. Mm. Not as good as the basketball game. <laughs> Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. That was worse than the first one. It's the carpet, man. It's the carpet. You gotta play the brakes. Play the brake. Hey! There you go. Oh, a little strong. Oh, come on. A little strong. Don't count that. Uh, you think you can do better? Yeah. I do. If I make one of these, you drive to lunch and every property for the next month. For the next month, please. If I make the first one, that's how it's going to go. Oh gosh, not good. That's a little off. There it is. There it is. No! Third time. Third time's a charm. It is not a charm, my yeah. friend. At least I hit the cup, you know? I hit it once. I, th I think I won that one. Just saying. You're a winner. You can't be the. You can't win just because you get the cup. Well, at least Both losers. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Just gotta get a little coffee before we go look at some real estate. You know, it's not looking at properties if you don't get your little morning coffee fill, right? So, uh, what are you drinking over there, buddy? I mean, you, you don't worry about me. <laughs> let, me let me see the camera. Oh, what, are you, boy. what are you drinking? What yeah. are you drinking? You don't have nice a coffee? A little, little green tea, buddy. You got a tea? You're like, hey, you know, yeah, you're being healthy. Oh, I got you. That's what it is. It's healthy. a health thing. Healthy. All right, all right. Well, we got our fill. We're going to go see some properties. You ready? Let's do it. All right. All right, show me the money. How far right. down on this are we? I don't know. One, 133. Where is it? Is this it right here where all the activity? Given tree. This yeah, 133. Look at everybody's there. Oh, man. All right. A little competition. Competition's good. That Different old, competition out here, though. That, that old codger's got nothing on us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, one, one guy's out. He already bowed out. Said the neighbor was too much for him, so I gotta scope out the neighbor and see what they look like. He's done. We got these two guys still here checking it out, though. Just mulling it over. Just thinking about it. Let's check out the back of the house. All right, let's go. How are you? Good. First thing you like to do. Oh, hey. Get a jungle gym meets the carnival. What meets is, hoarder. What is that? What is all that stuff? <laughs> what are these? 
looks like giant ice cubes. <laughs> no, they're uh, they're like flotation things. Like building an igloo out here. <laughs> building an igloo. <laughs> wow, I've never. Some hoops. You never know what you're gonna get, huh? This isn't gonna help. Got like a chicken coop back here too. Hey, I think we need to put a uh, a fence into the budget, eh? <laughs> yeah, hey, privacy yeah. fence. Do they make do they make ten foot fences? <laughs> <laughs> they might for this one. <laughs> I think we'll have to make one. Dude, look at that thing. What is that? It's uh Logan the Charlotte. They have small <laughs> Actually welcome to Matthews. Yeah, true. <laughs> it looked like it was it lo it's supposed to be a good idea. I, I feel like I should be on vacation in like Tahiti or something. Yeah, where's the hammock? Yeah. Alright, so we rolled up immediately and there are three people here, three different people, all looking at the house. It's a hot house. We heard right out of the gates there's some serious foundation problems and you can see here that there is. So when you talk about minor settlement cracks, that's not what we're talking about here. This is pretty major. Uh, basically Anthony just pointed out that all this dirt in here, if you look at it, everything's been flowing into the house. There's basically a channel where all the water's been coming in right against the foundation that caused this whole thing to give way. And you can see that's a pretty significant crack. Again, this is going to be something that scared most people away. I'm not afraid of as long as we know we can account for it in the budget. But uh, that, that that not does not qualify as minor hairline crack. So kind of a technical thing, but uh, that's major settlement. Uh, Matt, where are you right now, actually? I'm under the deck. <laughs> it's a fantastic deck, by the way, built built out of twigs, two by fours. <laughs> this will probably have to go too. <laughs> So Matt, what just happened there? What just happened? I don't know. I love that would have made for great TV if we could have actually filmed it. But Anthony said, I think if I kept filming, the guy was gonna punch me because he get he got really irritated. Real estate agents crack me up, and he kind of comes up all puffed out like, "What are you hey, doing here? What are you doing here?" I'm like, "What do you think we're freaking doing here? We're looking at the house." Well, the, I have a showing. I said, "Well, we have a showing as well." And he says, "Well, they don't ever double book." I was like, "Yeah, actually, they do all the time." Why does it bother you? What's your problem? Well, I was getting ready to leave, and I lock up. I said, "Okay, I'll lock up." So Anthony had to go to the truck and prove that we're a realtor. It was so funny that he comes up and he's like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Like, what the frick do you think we're doing here, bonehead? So we're looking at this, pretty the same piece of crap you are. <laughs> the same house that's falling down as you are. <laughs> so let's check this thing out. So uh, from the outside, we already know we've got some pretty major issues as far as settlement. So I'm going to start to look and see, do we have that anywhere else? Uh, at first glance, I mean, this layout is all right. I've got kind of a weird post that I think we'll have to deal with here. Hey, hey Matt, why don't you get the light on that? Yeah, let me turn this light on. It's custom. It's custom. There's actually the dimmer. It's built right in. And we got, we got a receptacle down there, too. High class. That, that's pretty uh, pretty legit there. I don't like this. The kitchen's really closed off, so obviously we'd have to open this up. I think we're you're looking at probably four to six grand, depending on what you do, how you open it, the level of cabinets that you're going to put in. This obviously has to change. It's not terrible, uh, but obviously this all needs to be redone. So this goes out to the driveway. Let's check out what we got here. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I like it. Ooh, what's that smell? Mold. That's the smell Moldy. of money. That's the smell of money right there. It does right smell there. like money, actually, my friend. Good point. It does smell like money. So immediately in here, I know. Come in and check this out too. If you can get in here, I mean, this literally is moldy as hell. I mean, look at all this. So all this has been rotted out. So obviously we've had some leaking down here. Behind, look at behind the hot water heater, man. That thing is nasty. Whoa, that's gnarly right there. That is what you call Holy black crap, friend. Luckily we're in here sucking it all in. Yeah, hey, we should have brought, well. brought our mold masks with us. So uh, we'll have to redo the electrical in here as well. Um, but uh, yeah, let's check out the rest of it. See so what other surprises we have. So this is where uh, this is where the chopped up addition starts. So we got another door to be able to get outside of the deck that I was just underneath. That's made out of toothpicks and twigs. All right, here's a recap of everything we've looked at. First of all, we've actually worked with Brandy before. The last deal, the most recent one we've done that we made about seventy thousand dollars in profit on, was through Brandy in one of her listings. Uh, on this one, I think we initially have to get it in the low thirties. Uh, Matt's guesstimating anywhere from 60 plus in rehab, easy because of the foundational issues. Uh, that's still going to bring us in a solid 30 to 40 in profit at the initial numbers. We're going to have to go back to the office and figure it out. But uh, ironically, 
We just met the insurance adjuster at the house and he's not even looking at the foundational cracks. So he's looking at vandalism. So it's just another thing to add to the list. So hopefully we can get a killer deal at a huge steal at this one.